mambo vipi leo picha hapa i hope kila mtu yuko poa na kila mtu anaendelea kujikinga na tunaendelea kumomba Mungu ili janga hili pite janga la corona ah siku ya leo nita tunuelekeza kwa ufupi sana ni sababu wana fanya color correction kwenye Adobe, Adobe Camera Raw kabla ya kupeka image yangu kwenye Photoshop kwa ajili ya ku retouch. Kuna wakati yani mimi naweza nikafanya color correction na color grading kwenye Camera Raw nikawa nimemaliza then nikaenda kwenye Photoshop nika retouch skin tu labda na ku crop picha ili iweze kufit uh, Instagram. Kwa hiyo hizi ndio njia ambazo basically wanapitia ili kuweza kufanya hizo. So kwa kuanzia tu sehemu ya kwanza ni hapa ambapo kwenye basic hapa white balance nafikiri nilikusudia iwe 650 so I'll leave it at that and then kwenye exposure I think kama unavona image nimeshoot a bit and export so nataka ionekane vizuri kwenye mwanga so one of the things I'll do ni ku punch up shadows and you, you can see before na after bo in here after in before and then highlights na zangazi drop kidogo whites ngazi boost blacks na ziaja pa kwa sub tare picha na blacks enough and contrast i won't touch so maybe i'll boost exposure so you can already see since nilipiga picha kama raw file sitapoteza data nyingi kwa sababu all the data za here so ndeyongeza and you can already see mwanga wake upo kama hivi so apart from that labda naweza nika boost vibrancy if i want it to be colorful lakini it's a choice so kila kitu unachokifanya hapa ni kwa kukusudia saa nyingine unaweza ukafanya lakini ikawa tofauti na hii it's okay ila kikubwa ni kwamba hizi ni sehemu za ku deal nazo sababu highlights ina ninapoipunguza inasaidia kurudisha details za sehemu yote ambayo ilikuwa ina highlights lakini iko imezidi sababu nikizidisha you can see like the wall na kwa completely white which i don't want that nataka nione kwamba kuna details kwenye ukuta so kwamba it's plain white so yeah highlights inasaidia so shadows obviously ina kusaidia kuweza kuona sehemu ambazo ni ziko kwenye kiza ambazo uoni unaona details za sehemu ambazo zinakiza so kama sasa hivi ukiangalia sehemu hii hapa nikiongeza you can see the details there so ndoka the shadows na kwenye subject you can notice kwamba details zinaonekana kwenye zile sehemu ambazo ziko na kiza so yeah so so far ni hapa and then the next place huwa napenda kwenda ni hapa kwenye HSL adjustments here I'll play with you for the greens maybe kwa sababu sipendagi sana the natural green ambayo tunakuwa tunaiona katika mazingira na tuzunguka so I'll, I always try to tweak green so I'll boost it maybe yellows I won't touch much kwa sababu pia zina impact kwenye skin so, but if umefanya white balance ambayo iko correct hazitaenda kwenye skin sana hizi yellow so so okay kwa sababu skin ina play kwenye oranges so boost that as well and then the drop saturation ya yeah, green na yellow then what this does inasaidia kumpop ile subject wako umuone zaidi kwa sababu hata blend na background kwa ni moja hapo ya vitu ambavyo unafanya gari pata hicho kitu and then luminance i can drop it a bit to a dark so the subject ana pop kuja mbele zaidi ili ujue huku ni background na huu ni subject after that mfano kwa mimi kwa image hii naweza nikawa nimeridhika na lakini kuna watu wengine au kuna image nyingine you can go further kama huko kwenye split toning and then ukajaribu kuongeza cheza na rangi fulani lakini for this image i don't think i'll do much of that yeah but this is kind of decent but in effect nguo pia kwa sababu nguo nao ni nyeupe so i won't do 
too much of this i'll leave it in here and then shadows i don't know if we can do something with shadows let me see so we gave it red uh it's okay almost but not really um uh, let's see the blues blues are affecting the skin a bit but it's okay Yeah, this is this is okay. So you can see before, now after. Come on over here now. So after this, it has my open image. And I type a Photoshop diary for Julia to retouch. So this is basically with the chat jumbo and a vifanya when camera roll. Otherwise, now is anika. Kuna i option pia calibration, but I don't really use it much. Uh, lakini pia ukisha tengeneza hizi ukisha ikala image yako unaweza ukasave hii kama preset ili next time kama una image ambayo almost inafanana hii ukai apply so unachokifanya unaenda huko kwenye preset you can click and then utasema save settings and then itakuja options za settings zote uzopitia save utaipa jina okay so let's say neutral cloudy and then preset yetu inakuwa ishaji safe so if nikija hapa unaona nazo nyingi nimezipanga hapa ambazo nimezifanya tukienda kwenye neutral cloudy you got it here so if i choose another image ambayo iko almost na the same uh, darkness and then i click it automatically ina change na kuwa hivi so you already have that kondi vamba vuna kwa nafany so yeah till next time remember to subscribe like comment and in case una chuchodo na taka kujifunza kwa ufupi unaezo kakiacha kwenye comment on my youtube da upicha concepts stay safe keep creating and see you on the next one